I'm gone loco for Rokoto. Hey, uh, got something here. Uh, brings out the uh, the uh, Latin American me. Uh, I like to do my always like to do my little yelling. <laughs> meow meow. I don't know why, but uh, uh, my good buddy uh, Dan Lowenstein uh, sent me some uh, Lakota. Rokoto, loco. I'm, I'm losing it, man, because I'm gone loco. Uh, I broke out the uh, handlebars and, you know, have to have to do it right. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, Rokoto loco. Um, and uh, tell you a little bit about Rokoto loco or about uh, Rokotos. Uh, Rokotos are a... Uh, they're a uh, they're a variety in uh, capsicum pubescent uh, species. Um, they're kind of call them the pubes, you know. It's a uh, kind of sick. People talk about, oh man, I love the pubes. You know, uh, you go walking around the store doing that on the phone and get kind of dirty looks from from women and stuff like that. So uh, it's kind of kind of strange, but uh, um, you know, they're uh. They're awesome varieties, uh, and Dan Lowenstein has got a, a great passion for it, and he's made this uh, sauce, uh, and his company's Red Hawk Premium Peppers, and this is his sauce. I've never seen anything like it. It's Rocoto Loco. It's made with uh, red Rocotos um, and uh, uh, pubescent Rocotos uh, are very distinct. They have uh, black seeds. This is what they look like. As you can see. Uh, throw this in my hand. Um, they uh, can't be crossed with anything but pubescence. Uh, they can't be crossed with anything else. They make good buffer buffer plants uh, in between other plants. Uh, and a uh, great way to kind of describe um, the uh, Rokotos and pubescence are uh, kind of like a uh, a nectarine from hell. Uh, they're pretty spicy and um, kind of like a sweet taste to it. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So I appreciate it Dan for sending this. Um, oh man this is some good stuff. Um, so thought about Going ahead and tasting it, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. Thought about. Oh man, it smells so good. Ready to do it? Go ahead. Nah. Go ahead and. This will work. This will work, I think. Hmm. Nah. Let's get a real taste test. I mean, a real, real man's taste test to this thing. So, here we go. I mean, I, anything bigger than this would be like one of the wooden spoons behind you, you see, back from the 70s. Uh, and in case you haven't seen, the plants behind me are some uh, pubescents. They're, they're a furry. A um, couple of them, a couple different varieties. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this. need a spoon just to scoop it in my mouth. All right. Mm. Top it off. Uh, 
Man, it's just like a, you're running about a about a hundred uh, uh, Scovilles, hundred hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. um, but you get, like I said, you get that real sweet taste um, naturally from the ricottos, uh, and ricottos usually uh, are all like mouth and tongue burn and stuff like that. So. Uh, Sorry, the glare. I am blind. Um, but, uh, you know, it's naturally got a sweet taste to it. Heat in the mouth and tongue. Um, but uh, Dan makes some really good stuff. Um, and I'll read you the ingredients real quick. Uh, very simple stuff. Uh, he's got water, red ricottos, um, sweet onion, sugar, honey, garlic powder, and citric acid. Real simple. I mean, really, really good stuff. Uh, I actually didn't even send this review. I just he sent it because he knew I really like ricottos, and uh, I was so pumped. I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and do my first review uh, on the uh, ricotto loco. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, now I can go ahead and shave off these handlebars, man. Uh, and uh, quit scaring the women and children with this look. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate it. And <laughs> see you later.